coles for the coleslaw what you want is you just cut off the end of the um, cabbage rip off the outer leaf this just discard it you don't need that From here, my hands are greasy from making the mayo. From here, cut it in half or a little bit less. Take it on the side and shred it. Of course, you can always buy prepackaged shredded, but where in the spirit of the fresher the better. So we really want this to be fresh, and then just slice it in half. Take the bowl, put it in. I want a little more. I like my coleslaw with half slightly larger sizes, so this piece is about right. Now let's go ahead and shred the carrots. You will need enough. I'm, I'm using about five carrots, so this is going to be a lot of slow. You can always make it less. Using the large side of the grater. Make sure you don't cut yourself. Again, you can buy the pre-shredded ones, but I like it fresh and I like to use my hands, so this works. Take another one, shred it a little bit less so the bottom is off. Now that we got the carrots, I actually just used two, and so it's two for half about Two thirds of the head of small cabbage. I use two carrots. You can use more or less depending on what you like. From here, let's take fresh basil and a bunch of cilantro. I think coleslaw always adds a great color to sandwiches, and we're making crab cakes paired with the coleslaw. And a little bit of green. Now let's add garlic powder. Oh no, that's not what I meant to do. Wait up. So at this point, we will take um, this is goat milk yogurt, homemade. Um, <laughs> I'm spazzing. Homemade mayo. And homemade mayo is going to be more liquid than the regular store-bought mayo. Let's just, I need, a, I need a thing where I can mix it in. So what you want to do is, we will take about two hips, large hips of, so this is about a cup, a cup of yogurt. I might need more, we'll see once I'm done. And then we'll have some of our mayo, about a quarter cup, put it in. From here we'll mix it in. It's gonna be look more oily, but because the mayo is natural, that's quite all right. So from here, we'll take the fruit we feed spice blend. You can um, go to this website www.sfe.com and I have um, Freebie Fit Spice Blend, which pretty much goes with everything. Then we have the Freebie Fit Take on the Old Bay, salt free, really healthy for seafood. Now we have a new edition of the homemade um, mayo. And it's not as thick, it's just not going to be the thing because it doesn't have all that other stuff. But making, mixing it in with the goat 
yogurt or yogurt, regular yogurt. Mmm, this is great. We need a little more spice, a little bit more blend. You gotta try it. You can just plop it in because you wanna make sure you've got the spices in. Mix it in. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna pour it all over. This tastes awesome. Sorry guys, I have to try it. Mm, perfect, okay. One more thing is a bitter garlic, of course. Always more garlic. I will be also shredding on, ooh, I almost broke my nail. I always, I will also be shredding um, onion into it. Like I said, I always make my own twist and of course you don't like onion, you can always take it out. But the health benefits are great and plus it just always adds a nice different dimension and flavor. So once this is here, and again, if you like thicker mayo, what you can do is just can take the homemade mayo and mix it with what I'm doing right now with cheese, with yogurt or goat cheese or, or, or really soft goat cheese. It will give it a completely different dimension. Mix it in. Of course, you can add a little shiraj and we will be coming up and, and we'll be cooking my own shiraj so soon. So I'll keep, uh, keep on the watch out. Now that we got this here, we'll take about, let me see, but it really depends how much you want in your um, slow, but slow is usually pretty saturated. What we want is take it in and just mix it in. The vinegar in the Russian may will help um, whittle the slaw as, as well as a little bit of lemon. The touch of honey in the um, Russian mayo will help it be a little bit sweeter while it will balance it out with um, garlic and onion. And I've got the onion, I'm going to add it on right now with garlics and onion. And it looks absolutely delicious. Let me try. Gotta try. Mmm, it's perfect. It has a great balance. Okay, now this is ready. We'll move out. We'll take out our, our crop cake. Meat. 